Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money where we talk about real life and money because you know schools aren't so let's get started. So we had a similar video to this previously talking about Micron but in this video we're going to be talking about if we should buy Netflix stock. So I'll be looking at some of their charts, their numbers, some information. So let's get right into it, guys. Looking at Netflix chart. First off, we could see their one year change is 120% and just year to date this year so far of six months is 87.5%, which is in incredible the uh, price is 359 right now so obviously everyone knows netflix a lot of people have them they're expanding in other countries and everything so their growth is phenomenal we'll see that in the revenues they have tons of subscribers um so with that growth of course this stock is very attractive and obviously from the chart you can see why people would want to invest in netflix but is it a good idea to invest in it now? So let's look at the movie and TV show streaming business. So this is Yahoo Finance. Um, so this is their five year chart. So basically nothing but up at this point. Uh, their market cap is just over $156 billion. Their beta is 1.34, which means it is more volatile, more ups and more downs than the regular market. Their PE, which we will go into in a few minutes, uh, is 287. Huge, high, skyrocketed PE. Um, and they have no dividends, and you could see... Again, I like to look at their one year target estimate. I don't like to like focus purely on it. Um, but it is at 333, so a little bit higher than an estimate. So looking at the PE real quick, price to earnings, a lot of people look at that to see if a company is undervalued, fairly valued, or overvalued. Well, let's compare a similar company out there. Some people say that it's overvalued is Amazon. So you can see Amazon, their, their, that's just their one year chart, but their PE is 266. And if you remember back to Netflix, they're at 287, so even higher than Amazon. So letting that simmer in our mind for a few seconds, continuing on to some statistics. Uh, again, you could see their PE right there is 287, but their forward PE much lower, but still on the high side of 78. Uh, now, I do like to look at peg ratio. That looks at the price to earnings to growth, five-year expected. Um, around the fair market is around like one, let's say. Um, so this is almost doubled that fair market. Uh, some people sometimes look at. And then you could see their price to sales, price to book. All these numbers are big. Uh, 12, you got price to book is 43. And moving over to the stock price history, 52 week change, like we kind of saw before, 113% compared to the normal market, a measly, pathetic 11% compared to Netflix. So they are definitely at, especially with their closing price on last Friday, they are at a peak right now, a 52 week high, like all time high. So they keep going up. Um, and there's a reason for this. Looking at their revenues now, uh, you can see this goes back to 15, uh, 2015 into 16 and 17. Their revenues are going up nicely. What I like to look at even more important than the revenues is the net income. You know, their revenues could be increasing, but sometimes companies are actually declining in net income, so they're not even saving money. Um, but their net income is skyrocketing you could even see what the charts over there their earnings their financials with revenue and earnings um you know from 16 to sorry 17 to 8 no 16 to 17 that is uh over doubled it's just incredible so that was basically the income statement now looking at the balance sheet real quick of course you got to check that out their cash of almost three billion dollars so their total current assets 
is around seven and a half billion and their total assets is 19 bill. Comparing to their liability side guys, uh, they have no short term debt, which is phenomenal. Uh, and some long-term debt of six and a half billion. So current liabilities is like five and a half. Total liabilities is 15. So their assets are definitely more than their liabilities. So that's attractive. So those were their numbers looking at their earnings. So this was in middle of April when they announced their earnings. Uh, they beat their EPS by one cent and their revenue of 3.7 billion was 40% increase year over year, guys. $10 billion beat is insane. 40% increase. So, so far, looking at their revenue, their net income, that huge revenue increase, you can see why this stock is going up so much because they're making tons of money. So, some further information about Netflix, we can see over here. Their subscriber levels are just skyrocketing, just like everything else, basically. Uh, they show their company reported streaming editions. So they looked at 2 million instead of their estimated basically 1.5 million. Their international streaming was around 5.5 million compared to their guidance was just under 5 million. Total streams of almost seven and a half million versus uh, 6.32 million. So uh, even their, sorry, next bullet down, moving, continuing, um, their contribution margins are increasing. So all these things are looking very, very attractive. So this is basically all positive upside stuff, guys. The only weird thing to look at them right now is their PE. You know, that's kind of iffy because it's so high. What other negatives are there? Well, there is a negative which not many people might realize, but Disney is thinking of, well, not thinking, they're starting or planning to start their own streaming service. Um, so they're going to have their Disney content on their platform. And Disney owns like everything. So that could be a serious competitor for Netflix. Now, looking at Disney stock has been quite miserable. I mean, not horrendous, but definitely not attractive at all. They've been all over the place there because they own ESPN. Uh, their numbers for ESPN have not been attractive. Um, but again, Disney has that brand behind them. They have basically any superhero movie, TV show. So if they start their own streaming service, that could actually possibly hurt Netflix. So just keep that in mind for the future. Disney is planning on um, revealing that or starting to whatever, like roll it out. And I want to say they said 2019 to 2020, so a couple years. So those are all the numbers and statistics and everything. But what do I think? Would I buy Netflix? Now, obviously their numbers are phenomenal. Revenue, net income, subscribers, all these things are increasing very, very strongly. But, and this is a big but, unfortunately, um... There's a difference between price and valuation. So to make it super simple, let's just say we knew the actual value of Netflix. No one does, but let's say we knew that the price was $300. Why would I buy a stock that we know it's worth $300 for $400? It wouldn't make sense, even if it's a great company, you know, everything's increasing, you're still paying that premium and it wouldn't make sense to pr pay that price for that valuation. So for me personally, I wouldn't buy Netflix just due to that fact. I think it is very overvalued. I'm just going to say it. it's overvalued. Same thing with Amazon. Their PEs and everything, it's super attractive, so a lot of people are getting in them. Um, now, I'm not saying it's going down. It will probably continue to go up. However, I, that valuation doesn't, that price doesn't meet my valuation of it. Uh, it will continue to go up, but 
for me personally, I wouldn't want to get in that. Especially if something happens, it is more risky. So if whatever happens, if Disney successfully launches that streaming stuff, that could end drop Netflix very, very quickly. Cause that's high risk, high return. It could go up that quickly, but also down that quickly. So this is the situation where I love the company, but the stock I don't like so much. And there's a difference between that. You know, it could have a great company, but the price could just be somewhere that I'm not comfortable with. And that's what I feel Netflix is now. It's probably going up. That's just how it is. It's revenues and everything is going up. So the price will continue going up. Um, but I think it's just overvalued for my taste. That's my opinion. You could have a different opinion. That's quite all right. You could probably make a huge amount of money into Netflix. Their future looks very strong. Spe you know, they're expanding into other countries as well. So it's a good business. Yes, I kind of regret not getting into this one because it went up so much, but still, for my taste, it's overvalued. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Do you own Netflix? Would you buy it? What do you think? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Real Life Money, where we talk about real life and money. I just started an Instagram account. If you guys want to check it out, link in the description. Remember, I had another video like this going over Micron. If you're interested, you can check that out. So. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.